Here's this week's shame well. I have a shame story that still makes me cringe four years later, and I'm hoping you can rid me of this shame. My first year of college, I was friends with a girl who lived down the hall from me and who had a disability. Her left hand and arm were unresponsive, and she had some minor delays that sometimes impacted her studies. I never really thought much about it, and she never explained the cause of this because it didn't really come up in conversation. One morning before our 8am class, this girl, my roommate and I, were sitting in the cafeteria eating breakfast. It was much earlier earlier than I was used to waking up, and I was still half asleep as I ate my cereal. It was right before finals week, and the girl and my roommate were talking while I was sitting there, completely zoned out, exhausted, and thinking about how much I had to do. All of a sudden, I heard the girl say, Yeah, like, half of my brain just isn't working. Thinking she was talking about how tired our brains all must be around finals week, and assuming she was making a joke, I laughed and said, Oh man, me too. We all know how that feels. Suddenly, the girls were quiet and staring at me. I said, what? The girl said, no. I was telling you that I had a stroke when I was a baby and that literally half of my brain doesn't work. I wanted to drown in my cereal bowl. I stammered out an apology, explained what happened and went to class. I hoped my apology resonated, but the girl and I were never quite close as we were after this. Please, John and Ellis, rid me of this shame I feel every time I pass this girl, or in fact, every time I eat in a cafeteria. Okay. Positives. You're displaying empathy. Yes, that's always good. Which is good. Um, Shame is a direct result of empathy. Absolutely. And also, it was a slip of the tongue. You were tired. We. This happens to everyone. You are not unique. You are not... Uh, uh, you're, you're not the only one exclusively feeling shame. We've all got these little sort of moments that keep us up late at night. That said... It did make me cringe from the spine out. Yes, I would not like to have gone through that myself. Oh, good grief. But you're forgiven, you're forgiven, you're forgiven. You're forgiven. I guess also to an extent, it does show, I know you were being very sort of mindless, but it does show that you weren't seeing the disability before the person. You were seeing the person and reacting to them as you would anyone. Unfortunately, that has led to an absolute nightmare. 